Hey, this is Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com. And I want to show you a couple of quick tricks on how to make sure each time that you use Z-Depth and different types of patches that it's going to work. Uh, first and foremost, uh, we're going to talk about uh, just where you click and how many times you click. Right now, we have our timeline selected, and you can tell that by the red rectangle thin line surrounding everything. So if I decide to zoom in, it's going to zoom in on, our, on my timeline, okay? Now, if I click up here to uh, my camera view, and then I zoom in, okay, that's where my camera view is, zooms in, all right? Now, wouldn't it be cool wouldn't it be awesome that if you didn't have to actually click? Well, that's the cool thing about this. Toon Boom actually has that built into the software. So we're going to go ahead and turn that on. All right. So I'm going to simply go to Animate, come down to Preferences. And what we want to do is come down to General. And what we want to look for is Focus on Mouse Enter. And I want to select that. I'm going to click on OK. All right. So now I'm at the tools, prop, tool properties and the library. But now if I move over to the timeline, now the timeline is highlighted. And now the camera view is highlighted. OK, so this is going to be very good. So now I can zoom in and zoom out. And I'm down on the timeline. Zoom in, zoom out. All right. So that's the first part. The next part. Uh, I want to show you a little bit of working with setting up a hierarchy. And this is, uh, again, part from our little robot. I've already set the pivot points exactly where I want them to be. So we have our upper arm. I'm going to move our forearm to be about right here. So it's actually connected right, pretty much making the elbow. And we're going to grab our claw and move it right to the end of the forearm. So that makes sense there. And then on my timeline, I'm going to go ahead and parent these. So I'll select the forearm and I'll click and press this right under the upper arm. And I'll take the claw and push that right up under the forearm. Now it looks like it moved a little bit, so I can just go ahead and move that over. All right, so that's pretty much set up. So now, if I select the forearm, it's going to select both the forearm and the claw. If I select the upper arm, it's going to select all three pieces. And that's pretty good. So I'm going to collapse the view of this real quick. And what I want to do is right click and I want to duplicate the selected layer. So now I have another one. It's exactly like that. Uh, so what I want to do for now I'm going to simply click and drag this um, out of the way. And this looks like it's a little bit complicated here. So my duplicate copy, I'm going to do, I'm pretty much on my timeline, I'm going to move it right above the other one. Okay. So we have our duplicate copy. The design of the robot, it's actually been uh, illustrated very well to the point that what we can do is make the front arms actually show the bolts. So if you remember, there's actually bolts that are hidden uh, right here. So what I want to do is select the claw here. And again, this has to be if your camera view is selected. My camera view is selected, and I am selecting currently the transform tool. I'm going to hold down my option key. Alt on PC and press my down arrow just once. Okay. And pretty much what that is doing is moving this claw to the foreground. All right. So now we can actually see the bolt. So we'll do it again. We'll select the forearm and we'll do the same thing. Hold on my option key, press the down arrow. And that's Alt I'm pressing the down arrow on PC. And now we actually have our front claw and back claw looking different. All right. So again, that actually happens because we have the camera view selected. And the way that we made sure that the camera view is going to be selected when we're working on that is by going to preferences and let's see, 
going into general and making sure we have focus on mouse enter. It is an awesome, awesome, awesome little advantage and it really speeds up production. So this has been Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com and I wanted to take a moment to remind you that our second Toon Boom Animate DVD is available for pre-order. The Anatomy of a 30 Second Short, Volume 2. And if you actually pre-purchase that, you can get a bonus download, a bonus instant download, and you can actually get the rest of the robot tutorial, Robot Zero One. It's going to be a new series that's coming out, but we're actually going to be giving away, uh, it's about an hour's worth of tutorials just on the robot, not even counting uh, what's happening on the DVD. So keep it simple. Make it perfect. If you don't have time to make it perfect, rethink the idea. Have a good one.